In this video, you're going to see how to use the Python feature in Excel to create a query that joins different tables together in a single output. Keep in mind that Python in Excel is only available to users who have the Insider's version of Excel 365. In our example, the current tab called Loan Detail contains loan records. One of the fields on this sheet is called Loan Code. The second tab called Loan Types also contains this Loan Code field, but also has a field that contains descriptions for these loan codes. We're going to create a Python query that links these two tables together so we can create a single output that pulls in the loan type descriptions along with our loan detail records. One important thing I need to point out is that all table field headers cannot have spaces. So use underscores if any of your headers have more than one word. To begin, we'll type the letters PY in a cell to the right of our first dataset and hit tab to create a Python input area. This is where our code will live. Next, we'll create a data frame with the letters LD, short for loan detail. This data frame will store all the values in our loan detail records to the left. We'll hit enter to come down on a new line and create a second data frame called LT that is short for loan types. We'll set LT equal to our loan types data set on the next tab. Following that, we'll hit enter a couple of times and create another data frame called output. Here we'll link the previous two data frames into one output. We begin by entering the letters PD, which is short for pandas. Pandas is a library containing different functions and methods. We need this reference at the beginning to access the merge function found within the pandas library. For the first input, we'll reference our first data frame. For the next input, we'll reference our second data frame. Next, we input the keyword on, followed by equals, and list the field header we want to join the two data frames on. For the final input, we list the type of join. Type the keyword how, followed by equals. Then type a single quote, and you should see a list of options for the type. Here we want an inner join because I already know that there will always be a match for each loan record to the loan types table. Finally, we come down on a new line and reference our output data frame to display its results. Hit Control and Enter to input this code. If the cell displays data frame, then you need to go up to the left of the formula bar, click on the drop down list, and select Excel value. We now have our output that includes loan type descriptions from our second tab in the last column of our results. Now we'll perform a query to only pull back auto loans. Go back to the input cell and hit F2. We'll come down on a new line and reference our output data frame again. Following that, we'll insert the query function with an opening parentheses. Inside double quotes, we'll reference our loan type column. We'll specify equal to with a double set of equal signs. Our criteria will be auto loans. Make sure to enclose the word auto inside single quotes. Remember to end this line with a single quote, followed by a closing double quote and a closing parentheses. Hit Control plus Enter to input the code. We now have a result of just auto loans. The query function by default displays index numbers in the left most column with the results. If you don't want this in your output, it's easy to remove. Go back to the input cell and hit F2 to go back into the code. At the end of our query function, we'll add the reset index function. Inside the parentheses, enter the keyword drop and set it equal to true. Hit Control plus Enter again to submit the revised code. The index column is no longer there. In our next example, we're going to join three tables together. We now have a third table with branch locations that has three fields, branch ID, location, and employee count. We'll use the branch ID field to join it to the same ID field on our loan detail table. Click back on the Python input cell and hit F2 to go back into the code. First, we'll add a new data frame called BL, short for branch locations. Then we'll set this equal to the range of our branch locations table.
Next, we'll delete our last two lines of code, but keep our original data frame called output that holds the join on our first two tables. We'll add a new data frame called output number two. Then we'll copy the code from the line above and modify it to join our original data frame called output to our new branch locations data frame. We also need to change the field we're joining our tables on to the branch ID field. At the end of our query, we'll add the drop function to remove a couple of columns we don't need in our output. We use the keyword columns followed by equals and then reference the fields we want to remove enclosed in a set of brackets. Each individual field needs to be enclosed in single quotes and separated by a comma. Don't forget to add the closing parentheses at the end. Next, We'll come down on a new line and reference our output number two data frame followed by the query function. This time we'll query on the location field for the east or west branch. Remember that with this function, equality is expressed with a double equal sign. Since we have multiple criteria, we need to insert a vertical bar between each condition. We'll copy our previous condition and change the criteria to the west branch. Don't forget to add a closing double quote and parentheses. Our three tables are now joined together in one single output. The last thing we'll do is add a sort to our results. We'll sort first by location and second by loan type. At the end of our query function, we'll add the sort values function. Inside the parentheses, we'll list our two fields to sort on. They need to be enclosed in an outer set of brackets. Each field name needs to be individually enclosed in single quotes and separated by a comma. We now have our results sorted first on location and a secondary sort on loan type. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.